Hello listeners, welcome to Bedford Girls School Radio. It's 10 minutes past two on Saturday the 8th of October and we'll be on air for the next 30 minutes. Coming up, we have Simran and Emily's music show, which includes a recording of one of our own Bedford Girls School girls singing her very own version of Price Tag. We also have news and current affairs. But before all that, those exciting things, we sent two of our reporters, Natasha and Rachel, to find out what our teachers think of the new school. See how many teachers you can name. I like most about the school is the warm and friendly atmosphere that's provided by the close relationship between the girls and the staff. It's a real privilege to be here. The girls are bright and motivated and they enjoy their lessons and I can concentrate on my teaching. I think that's the thing I love the most about it. Obviously everything else is great too. Working with all ages because I'm teaching all the classes from year 7 to year 13 and I get to meet lots of really funny people. like most about the school is the enthusiasm of the girls and actually I've got some fantastic gardeners here at the moment we're just about to plant some seeds and I just enjoy it a huge amount. What I love most about the school physically is when you come into the entrance hall and then you see all the mirrors coming up the stairs although that's a bit scary in the morning and I really love Ivy. about the school is that the girls love to read and they keep on reading and reading and reading. Head for Girls School is a lovely, lovely place. The girls are very polite, very friendly. They like to learn um, and the staff at the moment is very supporting. Yes. Um, the weather, I mean, who can complain about the weather? So at the moment... Hello and welcome to the BGS News with Cicely and Tasha. First, we have the school notices. On Friday the 23rd of September, BGS had a doctor's and nurses non-uniform day to raise money for the Gamma Plus Appeal run by Bedford Hospital Charity. The appeal wanted to raise £6,000 to buy a new Gamma camera for Bedford Hospital as the camera will help diagnose serious diseases in their early stages. There was a competition for the best dressed at lunchtime where the best costumes won points for their house. Now, time for some of the sports results. Last weekend, on the 1st of October, BGS had lacrosse matches against Berkhamsted. First, 10-3 win. Second, 7-3 win. Under 15, 5-7 loss. Under 14, 7-4 win. Under 13, A team, win and loss. Under 13, B team, loss. Under 12, A team, 3-7 loss. Under 12, B team, loss. At Bedford Girls School there is a huge range of clubs and activities to take part in which give you lots of amazing opportunities. There is almost definitely something for you. Bedford Girls School is working with Bedford School to put on a performance of South Pacific that will be performed later this year. Auditions are over and rehearsals have already started and I'm sure that it will be an amazing show. There will also be a trip later this term to see South Pacific and the MK Theatre which is sure to be great fun. Amongst the clubs in our school, we have a marathon running club, which is held in lunchtime once a week and it is open to girls and parents. This activity helps you gradually build your way up to running the length of a marathon or even just a long distance run and Miss Mackenzie, who runs marathons herself, is a member of staff that is running the club. All the girls taking part in the speech and drama LAMDA exams have passed. This was an amazing result and on top of that several of the girls have achieved gold medals. And for the first time two of the girls in the school have gained full marks on their exam. Well done to all of the girls who took part as you have gained an amazing achievement. On Sunday the 11th of September two of the BGS staff from the London Brighton cycling team took part in the Cycletta South event. Cycletta is a national organisation who aim is to encourage more women to take up cycling. 
cycle. Oh. They do this by arranging women only huge cycling events. Dr. Penny and Mrs. Pagliaro cycled 40 kilometres in a good time. They started at Whipsnade Zoo. The route went through some scenic parts of the South Downs and some challenging hills. Now it's time for the out of school news. In the South East, more than 26.5% of students achieved an I, A or A star grade. This means that the region has the highest proportion of the top grades in the country. Sir Chris Woodhead, who used to be the Chief Inspector for Schools, has said that he thinks that the school leaving age should be lowered to 14 to help children go into the particular trades and crafts. Although the idea seems like great fun to us, as it would make Year 10 our last year, it doesn't sound like it will ever actually happen. Although the rate of A-level passes is increasing throughout the country, it is also getting harder to get into university. At the moment, English university tuition fees are just over £3,000, but those who take a gap year will have to face fees of up to £9,000 by 2012. Go for gold. On Wednesday the 21st of September, 15 of the sportswomen from Bedford High School for Girls, Dame Alice Harper School and Bedford Girls School attended go Girls Go Gold conference, which is held in Edgebuston High School. The event was aimed for elite sportswomen from girls' schools who represent their county or country in their chosen sp sport. There were talks and presentations from Birmingham University on topics which included sports philology, sports psychology and sports nutrition. Useful tips were learnt throughout the day which will help to improve the performance of sports in our school. Hannah England, who won a silver medal in the 1,500 metres at the World Athletics Championships, in Daegu gave what was described as an inspiring talk on the day of the elite performer. And a highlight of the day was for everyone at the event to meet Dame Kelly Holmes who gave what was described as a powering and motivating speech which was about winning medals at the Olympics. Everyone seemed to have a great day. That's all we have time for on the news today. If there are any topics you wish to be reported please let us know. And now we have a quick notice from the Art and Textiles Department. Here's some good news for girls interested in art and textiles. Charlotte Jacobu, an ex-day Malice girl, has been invited to talk about her job as a trend forecaster. This is open to Year 10 and above. It will be held in Mrs Lugston's art room at Monday lunchtime. Back to you in the studio. Hello, I'm Emily and welcome to the Simran and Emily show. We're best friends and we both love music. We'll be giving you a little taste of what's playing on our iPods right now. I'm Simran and today is an exciting day for us all as it's the second ever broadcast of our show. And to show our excitement, we've got some great songs coming up for you to enjoy while you listen. But before we do that, we just wanted to talk about ourselves for a little bit so you can get to know us. We're both 14, starting our first year of our GCSE course. It's been a stressful first month for us, but it's been fun. Emily and I decided last year when we applied for places on the radio team that we'd just love to do a show together. And here we are now, together in the radio room broadcasting live to you. Five minutes ago we were both nervous wrecks, but we've managed to compose ourselves just in time to play you our first song, Ready to Go, Panic at the Disco. We love this track and both love the band. Check out their other songs, The Ballad of Mona Lisa and Oh Glory on YouTube. Our next artist has just started to appear on the radio after being played on BBC Introducing. Miles Kane has a unique and distinct voice. He's one of my favourite artists and this, in my opinion, is one of his best songs. That was Come Closer by Miles Kane. Emily introduced me to him and I've taken a real liking to him. Check him out at www.mileskane.com. And finally, we have a Year 10 pupil, Tilly Wellbelove, singing Price Tag by Jessie Get J, accompanied on guitar by one of our very own radio guys.
Actually, that's my one. I'm sorry. That's all we've got time for, but tune in next time for some great new artists. Thank you for listening to our broadcast today and tune in tomorrow at Open Morning.